And the time is up. Uh, so, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Wu Zheng, and I work at Fiber Home in China. And today we will talk about VMHA. There is, and there is the topic of better VMHA solution, split brain solving, and host network for awareness. And so here is the agenda. Uh, today's presentation consists of five parts, and you can see them from the screen. And okay, uh, let's get started. As we all know, the high available of VM was born with visualization technology and was a very creative feature at that time. Uh, in today's cloud scenarios, more and more applications are beginning to move to the cloud and containers. But for, but for some legacy service, are they still unreformed or cannot be reformed in short term? So they still need HA features to ensure the reliability of their applications. So, but some, uh, we analyzed the traditional HA solutions, and there are also some dis uh, still some disadvantages, such as rely on IPMI and can only handle single things, and almost no solution to the split brain problem. So based on the analysis, we want to build a better solution of VMHA. So before the implementation, we put forward two requirements for design and feature. And the design must integrate with our product, and it must be independent of OpenStack, and try not to motiv modify native codes. And uh, in the feature area, it's it must be able to handle the split brain problem and some complex faults. So there are our goals. And next, I'll, uh, I'll begin to explain our method. So this is the architecture of our HA solution. It's based on the CentOS and the OpenStack. And the shared storage we chosen is CephFS or NFS. So you can see from the graph, there are three main layers. And the top layer is controller clusters. At this layer, we've developed the HA stack component, which act as a brain to control the global HA behavior with its agents. And the bottom layer is computer nodes, and here, we also implement a lock manager called FitLock for split brain protection. And at last, three, cluster, uh, three clusters built by ECD are in the middle of the bridge. They help HSDAC to sense the status of each node. And the, com the combination of the components above constitutes our VMHA solutions. And this table shows some specific information about each component, including the description and uh, deployment and the reliability requirements. And I'll now describe them one by one here. And this diagram shows where each component in the system is deployed and where it's connected. So it's notable that besides IPMI network, the controller and computer nodes are connected by three major network plans. They are management, storage, and the service network. And we'll use this in the following explanations. And uh, let's take a look at the usage scenarios. Uh, this graph illustrates how the, how the system interacts with end users. So for the general users, it could create HA VMs and modify HA attribute, and their HA VMs will automatically recover for a fault failure. And for the, uh, for the admins, they could, config, uh, they could config the HA strategy and other params, and they could also turn on or turn off the HA ability when needed. And for the, for the HS, HS stack itself, it provides host for detection and HA task tracking capabilities. 
and in some scenarios, it also needs to perform fencing action. And the above is the most, uh, are the most common interaction scenarios of the system. And uh, here, I also uh, introduce a term about fencing. It means the process of locking resources away from a node whose data is uncertain. So in our solution, it means stop related VMs when the host status is uncertain. So after introducing the scenarios, let's see the workflow of several HA actions. The first one is create a HA VM. And similar to the common VM creation process in Nova, you only need to add HA's metadata when you create a HA VM. And then Labbert will go to feedlock to register the VM before it's running. And the second one is HA. The HA stack periodically pulling the status of each node. And once a host network is abnormal, the HA process will be triggered. And after necessary basic check and the storage detection, the HA VM will be evacuated for the 40 host that complies with the HA strategy. And then uh, the HA stack use task tracking to ensure the HA action is complete. And the last workflow is about fencing. And the HA stack agent uh, will continue to maintain a heartbeat connection with the shared storage. So once a host heartbeat is interrupted, the fencing event will be reported to HA stack. And uh, if the agent gets a response in time, it will follow the instructions. Otherwise, execute fencing by default. And uh, here I also want to clarify the scope of HA detections. So when will it trigger HA? An exception occurred on the host network plan, and this exception conforms to the HA strategy, then the HA stack will trigger the HA action. And when will not trigger HA? So when, uh, when, when VM status is not in active, stopped, error, or internal exceptions occurred inside the VM, will not trigger. And when the VM virtual network is abnormal, we still won't trigger HA because HA stack only handles the physical network failures of a host. And the VM virtual network failure are still handled by Neutron. And uh, by the way, when the core components are abnormal, we, the HA process will still not be triggered. OK, uh, so I've already introduced some uh, basic information about the system. And next, I began to explain the two key features in our solution. And the first feature is split brain solving method. And there is two questions that need to be clarified first. So what's the split brain? Uh, it's a result of cluster partition where each side believes the other is dead. And then proceed to take any resources when, uh, no, uh, as though the other side no longer own any resources. So what's the influence on the system? And I'll use, the, I'll use this following graph to give an example. And so when the controller finds the, co the computer node is disconnected, it's difficult to judge whether the broken link is caused by the host failure or the network failure. So if it rushes to trigger the uh, VM uh, evacuating at that time, it causes VM with same disk mounted to be running on both hosts. And therefore, the VM concurrence with the same disk may cause the irreversible data corruption. That's unacceptable. 
So to solve this problem, we implement a read and write lock manager called FeedLock. And in addition, to, uh, to avoid invalid VM fencing actions, we also achieved a set of fencing protection mechanism in HA stack. And uh, please see the graph on the right. And in our solution, the feed lock will ensure the right rights are unique. So the, so, uh, the same VM cannot be, uh, cannot be start at the same time. It fundamentally avoids the occurrence of split brain problem. Uh, okay, on this page, let's see the principle of feedlock. And a feedlock is a lock manager built on shared storage, like Sunlock. And uh, you can see from the graph, uh, all hosts are allocated a unique lock space on shared storage. And uh, each host uh, ha has read access to its own lock space and only has read access to others. And each host periodically updates its own time step. And the host list renewal is equal to all that host VM leases renewal. And here, the most, uh, the most important thing is if host list is being renewed, then the VM list is owned cannot be acquired until it, ha until it has expired. So that means a VM that is already running on one node cannot start simultaneously on another node. Therefore, there won't be two identical VMs in the system. That's the way we solve the split brain solving method. And what's the difference between feedlock and the sunlock? And first of all, the log granularity of the two is different. The sunlock use each VM disk as a lock, and, but others use VM itself. And in, in addition, uh, the behavior of the two when dealing with some scenarios are also different. For example, when heartbeat lost, the sunlock will wait and kill HA VMs, uh, but, uh, under, but the feedlock will ask the HA stack to judge via socket. And in process, in, in process restart scenarios, if the sun lock is restarted, the lock space will lost because part of data are stored, from, uh, are stored in memory. So this is equivalent to a more function and will lose protection here. Uh, however, under feed lock, we, we've achieved a fencing protection here to prevent such failures. So it has much better reliability. And next, let's see the performance of feedlock in some specific scenarios. The case one is the simplest. Uh, when when a HAVM is supported, the VM list will be registered in the log space. And case two, when the shared storage is inaccessible, then the HA stack agent will report fencing event to HA stack and will wait for a response. So if the agent gets a response in time, it will follow the instructions, execute fencing or not fencing. In these situations, HA stack will find the storage is abnormal. So no need to fencing. That means the HA stack agent will get not fencing comment, and all HA VMs will remain here. And the case three, and when the uh, computer node loses connections with controller nodes. So you can you can see in this solution uh, in this case. The original host can still update heartbeat on shared storage. It still has the list. So the VM will still be running and cannot be started on another host. 
So that means the split brain will not occur. And the last case resembles an isolated island. When the computer node is disconnected from all nodes, that means all heartbeat and the fencing event cannot be passed outside. So in our solution, due to sleep brain protection, the HAVMs will be stopped at original host by HSAC agent. Uh, this is because uh, when the host is completed interrupt, all HAVMs will be evacuated to another host at that time. So if, not, if fencing is not performed at original host, once the host communication resumes, all HAVMs will continue to operate disk in a short term. That means the speed bring may occur. So this is the reason why we need to execute fencing in this solution. And okay, we just introduced the feed lock, and then I'll start to explain the second key feature about host network fault awareness. And you can see from the graph, uh, we've introduced the ETCD uh, between controller nodes and the computer nodes. And uh, corresponding to three physical network, we established three clusters on ECD. There are management, service, and uh, storage clusters. And uh, from, the bottom, uh, from the bottom side, the HA stack periodically updates the heartbeat of each networks every 20 seconds to, to the ETCD. And uh, from the upper side, HA stack obtain the, uh, obtains the connectivity of each node by reading the three network clusters from ETCD. And once a host, uh, once a host network in, uh, heartbeat is not updated within two minutes, then the HA process will be triggered according to the configured strategy. So through this up and down update mechanism, the HA stack will obtain the, pers uh, will, will, uh, will ensure the perception of each node. And about communication method, uh, the, uh, the interaction between each node is through ECD API. And according to different uh, message types, we adopt two transmission methods here. The heartbeat of each network is updated by corresponding network plan. And some key messages, like fencing event, are reported through three network plans together and the, the HA stack will remove redundancy during the processing. And about HA strategy, we use a JSON template to config. And the default strategy of HA is shown in the below at the table. And you can see from it, and for example, we'll trigger the HA process when the storage plan is interrupted. And of course, you can customize the strategy based on your own business needs. And so here, the two key features in the system are introduced. And the next, I'll show you what other related features we've done in the solution. And speaking of a long running task, we naturally think of how to judge its execution result. So therefore, we implement a task tracking module in HA stack, and all HA actions will be tracked here, and the field task will be retried five times by default. And if, the ta if a task still fails, an alarm will be generated to remind the administrator that HA recover fails. And to prevent excessive HA parallel, we've also developed the flow control in the solution. And you can see from the graph, uh, we use a dynamic lens variable queue to control the global HA rate limit. 
and the default length is 20, and it supports runtime modification, that means you can change it at any time, and no need to restart the process. And in addition, the parallel of uh, the parallel HA rate limit of one host is five by default, and that means the host that ex that that uh, exists this threshold will be filtered out during the uh, during the host selection. And this slide is used to introduce some of the protection mechanism of the system. So first of all, all the, re all the related process are protected by watchdog. And in addition, we implement the two protection mechanism when large scale failures occur in the data center. And on the, on the right is the illustration of the features. And you can see from it, uh, if more than 50% of the hosts are done, that means the data center may have experienced a major failure. So the HA stack will stop itself to avoid VM evacuating. And if the host recovery reaches 70%, the HA stack will recover, uh, automatically recover to continue to provide HA capabilities. And these two params are also configurable. And uh, uh, we also implement a feature called HA maintenance to turn off or turn on the HA functions. Uh, for this is for, uh, for some certain maintenance scenarios like OS update or, the, or the, like uh, the story expansion or upgrade. So the different performance of the system when using this feature are described in the table. And here are the, some events and alarms uh, related to HA. And there are four categories, uh, VM, host, storage, and ECD. Okay, at last, let's take a look at the test results. And in our lab, we use a total of 38 computer nodes. And the test tools we chosen are Rally, Heat, and some scripts. And we use FIO to pressurize the storage and use Zabbix to, monif uh, to monitor the, uh, th the monitor the performance. And in this test, we create a thing of 1,000 uh, VMs to be recovered by interrupting more than 50% of the hosts. And with different read limit value and whether to pressurize the storage, we divided the test into three scenarios like this. And after testing, uh, in the first two scenarios, without storage pressure pressurization, uh, the recovery time of single VM is within one to two minutes, and the total recovery time of is uh, is of 41 and 20 minutes respectively. And in the last scenarios with storage pressurization, the recovery time of single VM is almost two minutes, and the total recovery time is extended to just over one hour. And here, here are some actual cases of our products uh, covering uh, hybrid and the private cloud scenarios like this. So uh, about future works of the solution, at the functional level, we plan to implement the integration of QGA and HA stack so that we can handle some force inside the VM. And at the usability level, we also intend to graphically display the HA strategy template so that the admin can easily customize the required HA policy on the OM portal. And at the performance level, 
the recovery time needs to be reduced as much as possible. So there are the related references. And uh, so at this point, uh, my presentation has been fully introduced. So is there any questions? And uh, okay. Hi, uh, my name is Sampat, Hi, and sir. I'm the Hello. current PTL for the project Masakari. Hi. Uh, yeah, in the in the <laughs> open stack we have yes, uh, kind of a similar project. Yes. And as far as I understand from your presentation, we already have most of the features. Yes. And do you have any plans to integrate with Masakari or contribute to Masakari? Or yes. Or. I make some. Uh, I made some. I made some com com combination of the HS stack and the Masakali. Okay. Yes. And uh, how to say? First, firstly, the the fault source is different. The Masakali supports uh, VM failure, process failure, and the host power failures. And uh, ours is to do with the host network failures. Exactly. So, I understand yes. That. This yeah. one. And the uh, secondly. Uh, uh, from the functional comparison, uh, the uh, HS stack uh, provides the split brain uh, solving method and uh, can communicate via three uh, uh, network plans together. So, but we don't have the, but we, uh, we, we doesn't provide uh, APIs outside this one. And uh, the second is uh, now, uh, we doesn't provide uh, VM internal uh, internal fault detection yet. Okay, thank you. As I said, like we do the same thing in different way. Yes. So but maybe yeah. we will join I'll us. I'll discuss you with yes. later. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So, are there any questions? Uh, I want to know: Are there any plans uh, to? Build up a, a open source project for uh, this kind of solution to provide it to others. Uh, you need to. Uh, you means can I can I provide? Uh, how to say? <laughs> and now this is a private solution of our product, and uh, we are preparing for this. To uh, to uh, uh, put a repo in the Git, in the GitHub, and uh, we we will and we are preparing for this and uh, and and it uh, it will be announced when we pro when we provide this uh, on our uh, how to say on the web on our app and uh, how to say. Uh, we are preparing for provide the download of our of this HS stack uh, on GitLab, but now is not yet. Okay, thank you. So, so me add later we will announce it on our official website. So. Um, I uh, would like to extend an invite for you to join the activities of the self-healing SIG special interest group. Um, we would uh, love to have your input and expertise uh, and experience in uh, that this is one of many self-healing scenarios yes. um, and we're trying to build up uh, upstream solutions for all of those within the community. So uh, the more people we have connected working on the same stuff together, the, the faster we can go. So if you'd like to Join that sync. Okay. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Thanks.